and Mr. Carino Blanchard coming out first, fighting out of Tupelo, Mississippi, with a record of two and three. Well, <laughs> got a little flair for the theatrics here, I think. Okay, okay, okay. Not sure if he was going Black Panther or. <laughs> I was going to say the same uh, thing. Is that a Black Panther? I don't, I don't think it is, though. No, I don't think it is. I don't think either. it is. Maybe it's a. Like, uh, like Broadway musical. Maybe a knockoff Black Panther mask? I don't know. That's his own thing. Okay. Like a mix of Black Panther thing. and a V for, for Vendetta mask. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it looks like he's coming out with the uh, guys from Tupelo Jiu-Jitsu Academy. Looks like he has on, uh, what, Florida Gator shorts? Yeah, we just got a Jacksonville guy. Okay. Come out. Yeah. Walking out with Big Tuna. Big Tuna. Yeah, and Cody Floyd there, black belt, Tupelo Jiu-Jitsu Academy. Got main event walking out with him. Yep. Jerry Skill. Yep. Nice team behind them. Yeah, always good to see Big Tuna, man. This local local yeah. MMA legend around here. Yeah, love Tuna. Got to love him. It's like he's always the underdog in a lot of these fights, yeah, Well, man. people look they at him. Go, yeah. And they want to judge a book by yeah, the cover. Yeah, Tuna, he's like, like bro. Nah, he's not going to do shit. Yeah, I, gets I, in there I will demolish. never forget. I'll never forget I was at a, a summit fight, mm -hmm. and he was fighting on that card. I and I was sitting next about. to a lady. I was judging, and the lady looked at me, and she goes, this poor guy's going to get killed. Yeah, because the guy about is him. already all this swole other guy, coming out. The other yeah. guy looked like Hulk Hogan. Or right, something. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was and there. I looked over at the lady, and I go, ma'am, never judge a book yeah, right. ever, yeah. especially <laughs> not in mixed martial arts. Right. And Tuna won that fight, first oh, round yeah. knockout. Yep, first round knockout. Yeah. I, I was yeah. there at that fight. Matter People fact, don't he, understand. He, he not, he Tennessee, welcome to the arena, <laughs> Lane Rowe. Yep. Got to love him. We were sitting there cage side, and all of a sudden you saw a tooth go flying out of the Ring, I thought, yeah. oh man, it's like UFC one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Next fighter coming out is Lane Rowe. Lane fights out of Hub City MMA. Uh, two and one record, five foot eleven and twenty years old. So another Hub City guy that we see AJ coming out with here. So again, we're talking about AJ and guys he coaches. Technical. Yeah. Technical, technical, technical. I've been following Lane, and this guy, uh, met him at the boxing gym one time, you okay. know, watched him, has good hands. Uh, just been an overall hard worker. He just, he just works hard. It looks like he's definitely so, going to have a height and the reach advantage there. Yeah. Carino's yeah. 29 years old, so a little bit more of a veteran guy, a little bit older. Record's pretty comparable. You know, and and, and the, uh, the Hub City gentleman we saw earlier, I believe, uh, Corbin, Corbin Lyons, right? Yep. yep. Man, I mean, we saw a slick submission oh, yeah. right there, man. They oh, had yeah. A Super joke. slick. I didn't even see it. Yeah, so looking forward to seeing this matchup here. we got a yeah. couple of good technical gyms oh, yeah. with great yeah. training partners. Should be in for a great 155-pound lightweight title fight here. Memphis, Tennessee, our next contest is an amateur bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds for the 155-pound championship title. <laughs> Introducing first fighting in the blue corner, entering tonight's matchup with four victories and six amateur bouts with two wins by submission. Standing five feet, eight inches tall, weighing 154.9 pounds, from Prairie, Aberdeen, Mississippi, and Tupelo Jiu-Jitsu Academy. Give it up for Corino, the Black Ambu Blanchard. His adversary, ladies and gentlemen, standing across in the red corner. Four victories in five amateur bouts with two wins by technical knockout. Standing five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing 154.9 pounds from Jackson, Tennessee and Hub City MMA. Give it up for the prodigy, Lane Rowe. Third man in charge of the action, Mr. Chad Washburn, Memphis, Tennessee. Let's get it on. Yeah, not, not a long drive there to Jackson, Tennessee. Yeah, so. pretty close. 
They actually have his hometown list on there is Memphis, so, you know, probably brought a little bit of the hometown crowd here. Playing quick to the center of the cage. Yeah. He keeps good distance, too. Good distance. Got Blanchard throwing these overhand rights, but he's he's way out of range. Yeah, yeah he looks really technical. Yeah. Yeah, I think – yeah, you're really seeing some technical stuff coming out yep. right off the good bat. Feints. It's going to be hard to catch him with some random overhand, you know. Good job. Blanchard tried to clinch him there. Wasn't having any of that. Yeah, yeah, Lane good reacted flight. to everything. Yeah, good feints from Lane. Good head movement. Roll is in there, but he needs to keep his hands a little higher. I mean, Blanchard is throwing some mean overhands uh, when he goes in. You don't want to get caught with anything stupid. So he mean overhands, but yeah. they're just too wild and too yeah, predictable. That one, that one went way over yeah. his head. Blanchard's waiting. He he has to initiate. He has to he has to start yep. waiting on uh, on lane. That's why he's reacting to everything. And all he has is this overhand he keeps throwing. I mean, you you, you pick up on overhands fast. They're easy to counter. It has to be a pull some oh, stuff off the closet. Man, nice yeah, right, nice straight right. Blanchard doesn't seem phased though. Yeah, Lane's looking real good on the feet though. And Blanchard is reaching with his jab. He's reaching. His hand does not come back to his face. Nice hook, though. He caught him. Lane he is has, sticking him. Lane he has is a nice up. stand up. I like him to use the cage of the extra man. There's only so far back Blanchard could go. And Lane should just faint and use, use his hands to keep him against that cage. Man, another good straight right. Yeah. Lane is looking over his punches, though, which makes him kind of susceptible to, you know, get caught with the hook. He needs to look under his punches, even though he's the taller fighter. Taller fighters tend to look over their punches. All right. Might have he got is him on hurt. him now. Yeah, got him hurt he there a little bit. Now. Blanchard trying to sit on a single leg. Uh, he should just take, keep that, punching. take that next. Nah, let it go yeah, and keep punching. Yeah, 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 I'm in agreement Let it go and keep punching him. Yeah, no need to clinch in this situation. He's winning on the feet. He's blocking the overhands now. See, he's keeping that right up high because he knows that wild left is coming. So he's made a good adjustment there. Lane should mix it up. He should go to the body. He should go high, low, high. Blanchard has to keep stop throwing this. Uh, <laughs> didn't mean to laugh. Well, he switched stands he now. <laughs> yeah. oh, 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 caught him right yeah, there at, at the or end. after the bell. I'm not sure I was pretty close, but that one hurt him. It did. Yeah, that definitely stunned him. Round number one. Look how relaxed Lane looks walking back to the corner. Yeah, he does not look tired at all. Nah, that was sparring session. He's in some shape. Yeah, looking at it here on the replay. I hope we can. Uh, and the thing, it, it doesn't see that last shot. It doesn't look like Lane is hitting him with anything like super powerful, but he is so technical, and because it's target practice, the accumulation, the damage just yeah. little, it accumulates little, really like quickly. Like a Diaz effect yeah. almost, yeah. That, he's looking really, really good. Yeah, he's picking him apart. Blanchard has to come with something else in the overhands. I mean, he's throwing wild lefts, wild rights. I like to see him maybe put some leg kicks in there, some stiff jabs to the takedown. Stiff jab to the takedown may may get him where he wants to gotcha. be. He, he needs to throw straight punches. Uh, I, I don't. He's he's throwing looping punches to a fighter that seems to be a little bit longer, but he's throwing straight punches, and the straight punches are always going to get there before the looping punch. Here we go for round two. Okay, Blanche is coming out looking for respect. I believe Blanchard, could, he, he would want to ball, brawl with him all day. I think oh, yeah. he'll sit there and throw punches with you as long as he Rowe got throw. right to double unders, now going for the takedown here against the cage. Nice hip throw. So Blanchard should stand, he should stand up here. I don't. Lane should just let him stand up. Yep. <laughs> A little blood coming off Blanchard's nose. 
So Blanchard needs an underhook. He's he's overhooking, but he, he yeah. needs to get an underhook if he wants to have any chance of getting off of this cage. Yeah. Yeah, and you can see it's exactly what he did earlier. He had double unders and then switched to the hip throw right off the cage for Rowe. Okay, you know, it looks like it looks like good with head pressure now. And it looks like Rowe maybe his corner told him, hey, this round let's 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 work the cage clinch a little bit more and get this thing to the ground. Okay. I don't know why. But Me either. Yeah. Looks right. like that's what he's wanting to do in this round. Right. Seems like he was taking all his lunch money on the feet. Yeah, Blanche is gonna have to get a get an underhook here. Yeah, he's I mean, I'm like he's not even trying to pummel in right now. Right. That that wizard is gonna gonna keep Blaine from taking his back, but if he wants to be able to circle off this cage, he's gonna have to take that that right his right arm and get get that underhook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Lane is just doing some Randy Couture dirty boxing right yeah, here. Yeah, clinch, man. Like you said, Lorenzo, it's just stuff. building up. Yeah, little shots just. <laughs> Lane, keep that, there. keep that head pressure on his chin, keep him against the cage, and just keep working. Blanchard finally got the reversal. Lane wouldn't have anything of it; just walked him right off the cage. Yeah. Lane got the best of him off the break. Yeah, Blanchard showing the damage yeah. now too. Yeah, man, he's, he's turning his hands sideways. Yeah, he's yeah. out on his feet almost. Oh, going to the body Lane's now, like you were looking for, Lorenzo. Yep. Yeah, good, good mixing it up. Keep him guessing. He's just holding on for his life man, right now. I, tell I mean, you it's, what. it's yeah. no, they should the probably stop, stop it anytime. Yeah, I think the ref's close to yeah. stopping this. He's telling him to defend yeah, himself. Yeah, he's turning his head. Like he's close to being. Yeah. Like he's close to being stopped. This is a war. Man. This is a war. Blanche is showing real toughness. Yeah, in your he's heart, tough. Man. Yeah, he's showing hard. I mean, he's throwing. I'm telling you right now, if this goes, so it's a 10-8 round. I mean, it's just a he's total. He's his back. Yeah, he probably there should stop go. it. Yeah. No complaints with that stoppage for me. Yeah. That, was, that was a beautiful performance. And again, I mean, super technical. It super was like technical, what you yeah. thought we were going to see. Yeah. I mean, he picked him apart on the feet, and then Blanchard wanted to create the clinch. Didn't bother him at all. Yeah. He controlled the clinch, dirty boxed him, loosened him up, and then just finished him there in that second round. Surprisingly yeah, dominant. enough, Lane looked looked strong. I, I kind of thought that Blanchard would probably be the more the stronger yeah. stronger guy in yeah. there. And Lane seemed to have, have you get to hang with him up, you know, with the muscles. Man, that was an impressive fight. Uh, I have not seen Roe fight before. Uh, I will not forget that that name. Yeah. He's good. And he's going to be the new Quite Attitude future. MMA lightweight champ. So, rightfully so. Looked really calm in there, too. Yeah. Yeah, good good show of respect from the other coaches from Tupelo Jiu-Jitsu Academy. They're congratulating Lane on his performance. You always like to see that. Yeah, those guys down at Tupelo are a good, good, bunch of, good, bu good group of guys down there. Yeah. I've, I've trained with Cody, Cody before. Uh, definitely got a lot of, a lot of knowledge from him. I think Cody's one of the, the more underrated. Memphis, coaches. Oh yeah, Tennessee. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's a legit round BJJ two, black belt two for sure. Minutes forty second mark of round number two. Referee Chad Washburn steps in and stops the bout due to strikes. Winner by TKO and new one hundred fifty five pound champion, the prodigy. Lee! Whoa! Well, Lane may have a little mouse under his eye. Yeah. Well, I mean, he, he did land a few over hey, here. I want to interview he both did. of y'all. <laughs> Man, what a fight. Um, hey, listen. Um, come up here, Lane. Lane. <clears throat> Let's show this. This was a fight. You guys like that? Some. You weren't afraid to throw some hands, I'll tell you that. Man, how long have you guys have been training? Uh, I've just started training two years ago, man. First time in the gym was two years ago. These guys are already talking about cross training, I guess, at their gyms or whatnot. Talk to your coaches. I just heard them. Uh, Lane, tell me, what was, you, uh, what was your plan? And go ahead and talk. Uh, uh, well, I know this guy. I didn't know he hit as hard as he did, dude. I mean, grown man for real. Um, Y'all clap up again. I just, I, hard fights don't come often. Like, just because you're in a fight doesn't mean it's a fight. And I'm sure this guy knows that, and he brought it. So this was, my game plan was to try and keep him at range. I start getting good licks. Don't go too heavy on the gas. I did okay, but 
after that first round, I knew I had to at least get him out of here or me out of here in the second round. So I had to kind of turn it up in the second, but I, everything was awesome. Hey, um, so what's next? Uh, next for me is, uh, huh? Rest, then November 11th, Hub City MMA, hopefully. In Jackson. In Jackson, Tennessee. Yes, sir. All right, our new lightweight attitude champion right here, Lane Rowe. Uh, I'd like to give a, a birthday shout out to my daughter, India. Uh, her birthday was September 3rd. My birthday was yesterday, and my stepdaughter's birthday is uh, September 23rd, so shout out to them. Uh, shout out to Lane and his gym. That was a great fucking fight. Uh, I'm sorry to my family, I didn't pull away with the victory, but hey, we threw down in here. And thank you, Attitude, for having us. And, and I just hope to come back and uh, put on a better show. Happy birthday, man. Hey, wait, hey, great performance. All right. And uh, picture time.